salvation, 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 salvation. Salvation, 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 salvation is in resolution. The resolution of conflict. There is an ultimate salvation, the salvation of the spirit, the spirit embodied in timelessness, descending from the pinnacle of eternity. shall become beauty and fear shall melt like snow before the sun we must let the spirit in the voices of our other beings to eliminate a world in war to revile and Stop. suspicion listen to we me we must search Come through on. the spirits Just of the land. witness eternity leave her brother mark she's with the spirit oh. leave her oh. Sister Anne has been chosen tonight to bear the beauty and the pain of this manifestation of grace in the spirit. Bear her gently away. You, Mr. Rule. Your daughter joined the community here in London. What are they? Witches? There's not a great deal known about them. They protect their privacy. They produce this magazine, which they give away free on the streets. Uh, it's a religious order, very sectarian. A combination of Christianity and spiritualism. Spiritualism. The community is led by a Mrs. App Simon. We checked her out. She's a medium and a spiritualist preacher. How did Anne get involved in this, this nonsense? Why did she come to Europe, Mr. Ferris? Because we thought it would broaden her experience. Canada can be very insular. Anne's a bright girl and she needed Europe. She joined the community about a month ago. That's when she stopped writing. Almost every day I get a letter. Often a postcard and then nothing. She looks tired, ill. 
Well, they're vegetarians. Sometimes it can be difficult to adjust to that diet. I want to see her. My name's Adam Ferris. Yes? My daughter, Anne, she's here. Anne? Long blonde hair, Canadian. Sister Anne. I want to see her. I'm her father. I have no father on earth. The only father I acknowledge is of and with the spirit. Then you don't wish to see him. So be it. We did not stop her writing to you. You didn't encourage her either. We respect privacy, Mr. Ferris. This is Sister Anne's other life. We had no wish or right to intrude. You knew who she was. To us, she was a young girl who needed help, comfort, peace of mind. But you knew she was my daughter. Yes, we did. And very wealthy. That did not stop us from inviting her to join our community. Stop? Yes, Mr. Ferris, stop. We follow Christ's example in this. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter eternity. We disdain worldly values. Where is she? She doesn't wish to see you. What the hell are you saying? I should have thought it was abundantly clear, Mr. Ferris. Sister Anne does not wish to speak to you. My own daughter? She has every right. What have you done to her? This is a private house, Mr. Ferris. We invited you in. Now we wish you to leave. I warn you. I'll tear this place apart if I have to. You will leave, please. Anne! It was cowardly of me not to face you. It is right that I should tell you. Tell me what? I have abandoned my old way of life and all that goes with it. Including me, your own father? I am reborn. My true father is of the spirit. But Anne... I have given my body and my soul to the faith. You've been brainwashed by these, these freaks. I know it's hard for you. But leave me. Leave me in peace, please. Please. We will look after her. I'll be back. She will not see you a second time. Goodbye, Mr. Ferris. It's a tricky situation. Legally, your daughter is independent. She can live anywhere she pleases. I've got to get her away from that house. Even if she's happy there? Look, in order to become a permanent member of that community, their law decrees that all private possessions should be given away. Anne is a very wealthy girl. I don't think it's happened to me. It's difficult. Don't get me wrong, Mr. Rule. I'm only interested in Anne leading a happy, useful and fulfilled life. She says she's happy, but I know her too well. I don't think she is, or will be, or can be. You should meet Mrs. Ab Simon. She's a female Svengali. I'd like to talk to her from the inside, though. That won't be easy. Could I have another drink? I'm sorry. Don't worry. I didn't see it. Are you, you ill? No, I'm all right. Are you drunk? A little, a little. When did you eat last? I can't remember. Come with us. Sorry. We can help you. No. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need somewhere to belong <clears throat> and uh, someone to look at me and to talk to me like I was a human being. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<coughs> she understands. But we don't know anything about you. Who you are, where you come from. We know he's a drunk. Does that exclude him from needing to be loved, cared for? She asked me to come. <coughs> come. <coughs> I didn't... Did. She said that you were Christian folk. <coughs> he's just looking for somewhere to stay, an easy time. Now, I will work. I'll earn my own keep. <coughs> I don't need no chair. <coughs> this is not a DOS house. But, Mark, I feel a... You say you would like to join our community. Well, not if you don't want me. We will give you a period of probation. You must prove to us all that you are genuine in your desire for spiritual guidance. Since you brought him here and are so obviously sympathetic, Anne, I'm going to make you responsible for him. That's fair. And I can s stay? Provided you work hard and obey our rules. And that means no alcohol. Huh. We bathe every day. We're up at six and in bed by nine. We do not eat flesh and we do not tolerate excuses. After a week, we will review the situation. Until then, you will confine yourself to your room and wherever Brother Mark instructs you to work. <coughs> Anywhere else is strictly private. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I'm sorry. There is someone, someone trying to come through. Are you there, my daughter? My mother. Mark, it's my mother. Anne. Anne. I'm here, mother. I'm here. And my darling, I've tried so often to reach you. I hoped and prayed you would come through. You are now at peace and open in thought. You have turned away from the skepticism of your time. Is Adam here? Father, he is not a believer. Pity. I would so like to have touched him. Do you remember last Christmas? The bird in the chimney. Such happy, happy times. Oh, don't go, Mother. Don't go. Please, not so soon. Don't go. Did we make contact? Yes, my mother. It was my mother. You have earned this visit. I hope it was the first of many. You must have loved your mother dearly, did you?
must have tripped. What are you doing here? I heard a sound. <coughs> Came down here and find you on the floor with a torch in your hand. You my hand? Yeah. Huh. More to the point, what are you doing here? I thought I heard s s someone. Bur burglars. Someone. Uh, Oh, thank goodness no one else heard. Uh, you know what Mrs. App Simon said? Miss so sorry. Uh, you must get your rooms quickly. <coughs> All right. Uh, Apparently, Anne has already donated a large sum of money to the building of a psychical research center. Well, that's all Ferris was told. We need more information than that. Yeah, well, I'll use every contact we have. Okay, find the Contessa. She knows people that we've never even heard of. Yeah, okay. Hey, by the way, how's the vegetarian diet? I like it. Uh-huh. Where have you been? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know what time it was. You've been gone for two hours. So I took a w walk. You have work to do. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Excuse me. I warned them about you. I can explain that. Don't waste your time. All right. I know that the rule of the community is that all private possessions must be given away. But getting a 19-year-old girl to sign her will seems to me to be a little unusual. The spirit must have sent you to me. Who is it? Mark. What do you want? Please, it's urgent. Well? It's your friend. Harry? I found him down the old wine cellar so drunk he could hardly stand. Promised me. Well, we could try and get him to his room, but we'll have to hurry. What have you done to him? He's hurt. No one ever comes down here. What are you doing? Wait to see. Have you seen Sister Anne? Not since last evening. Why? She's disappeared. Nobody knows where she is. Her bed hasn't been slept in. Oh, that's funny. Why? That new man, the probationary, always hanging around her. He's gone too. Hardly a coincidence. He was always with her, touching her, eyes on her. She's very attractive. Look, as soon as there's any news, he'll let us know. Hello, yes? It's for you. Yes, this is Adam Ferris. Mrs. Ab Simon. When? Last night. No, I haven't seen her at all. What did she want? 
Anne's disappeared. They're very worried about you. It's searching everywhere. But they won't phone the police. Not until I accidentally find your body stand here in a few days. It's all worked out so perfectly. Anne signed her will last week. I witnessed it. She left everything to the community. I warned them about you. You were drunk. <coughs> Unpredictable. <coughs> you got drunk at the best deal and forced her down here. <coughs> And when she wouldn't lay still, he killed her. He didn't mean to, he was drunk. Crazed with whiskey. Then unable to face what he did, he committed suicide. They'll find you together. I thought they might have come to you. The man you know as a stuttering drunk is working for me. His name's Harry Rule. He's a private investigator. And if he did leave here with Anne of his own volition, he would have contacted me. Call the police. This is Simon. Adam. Anne, thank heaven. Where's Harry? Mark. He tried to kill us. Mark. Harry's gone after him. Come on. Oh, Adam. I did it all for you. For the faith, the spirit, money, it power, the power to spread the truth, the word. What's a life if it means the opening of many minds? You can't touch me. I'm one of the chosen ones. Sometimes it is better not to question. 